Good afternoon, everyone. We continue to follow breaking news. It is over. A Cleveland woman, Kenya Pierce, whom police say was kidnapped by Derek Hudson, is now safe. Derek Hudson is dead. News Channel 5's Kristen Volk joins me. Kristen, police just held a news conference. What did we learn at that news conference? Here's what we know now, Leon. For the past 48 hours, the suspect and the victim continuously drove. The FBI says it had credible info that they went from Cleveland to Detroit on Saturday, then to Elyria, then back to Cleveland, of course. Police also say the suspect was obsessed with Pierce. This was not the first interaction that they'd had recently. They had been in touch. And in fact, when she was abducted, when Pierce was abducted on Saturday, police say she may have gotten a broken arm from the incident. Now, this morning, police got a call that a Dodge Magnum, the car police were looking for, was parked on Mapledale Drive on the city's west side. Inside that Magnum was suspect Derek Hudson and his ex-girlfriend Kenya Pierce. Police say Hudson kidnapped Pierce at gunpoint this weekend after shooting his aunt and uncle. When officers arrived on scene today, Pierce ran from the car to police. She was then rushed to the hospital. Officers then approached Hudson's car, and that's when he shot and killed himself, shooting himself in the head. Now, we spoke to one neighbor who witnessed it all, and here's what he had to say. Some lady got out the driver's side, and she ran towards the cop car by that tree over there. And, um, and then we heard a pop. And uh, that was it. Pierce was taken to Metro Health Medical Center this morning. We're told the 35-year-old is in good condition. As for Hudson, Hudson's aunt, she was treated and released. And for Hudson's uncle, he is in fair condition also at Metro Health. Live at Cleveland Police Headquarters, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.